This is a pretty challenging question, in my opinion. I think the first thing we need to figure out is that the profit from product X is 95% of the revenues because we lose 5% on the costs. And then we have to subtract $100,000 because that's another fixed cost that, that we had to pay. So 95% of revenues minus 100,000, that's the profit. And we were told in the free info that they did make a profit. So I can now say that, you know, 0.95 R minus 100,000 is greater than zero. And then if I add 100,000 to both sides, I could say that 0.95 R is greater than 100,000. But if I want to make an inference about R, I would have to multiply both sides of the inequality by 100 and divide by 95, or I guess you could call that 20 over 19 if you reduce. So the total amount of revenues was more than 20 over 19 times $100,000. And I shouldn't have to compute such an awful expression on the GMAT, I should be able to just approximate and I'll say something like 20 over 19 is like 19 over 19 plus another 1 over 19. And 1 over 19 of 100,000 is going to be just slightly more than 1 over 20 of 100,000. 1 over 20 of 100,000 would be $5,000. So 1 over 19 is just a bit more than 5,000. And so we can now rephrase this uh, free info to say that the total amount of revenues were more than 105 point something, let's call it, like something that's just a bit more than $105,000. So now that we know that our revenues were more than just over 105,000, we can evaluate the statements right after the intro. So I think I'll start with statement two because it tells me exactly how much each unit was sold for. So we know that we made more than just over 105,000 and if each unit was sold for $5, does that mean that we sold more than 21,000 units? And the answer is yes, because with 21,000 units, our revenues would have been 105 and we know that the revenues were more than a bit over 105, so yes, for sure we sold more than 21,000 units, and that means that statement two is sufficient on its own, and we should eliminate the answer choices that claim that it's not. So A, C, and E are gone, and we're down to B or D. Now, as I'm reading statement one, I'm actually thinking, hey, I should have started with this one because it doesn't have a chance of being sufficient on its own. I mean, we already knew that the revenues were more than some number that's above 105, so this isn't really adding that much value. It's just saying, okay, it was more than $110,000. But without knowing the price per unit, I mean, the price per unit could be a penny or it could be a million dollars. I have no way of knowing how much each unit was sold for and therefore I can't possibly make any inferences about the number of units sold. So I'm gonna go ahead with answer choice B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.